Hi there, everybody. Welcome to another uh, stream of the Doomsday Dawn Adventure. I'm Jason Bullman, the director of game design, and I am also happen to be the author of this particular part of Doomsday Dawn, part five, The Heroes of Undaran. Now, before we get going, I wanna remind everybody, this stream will be full of spoilers. We're going to actually be playing part five. So if you have not played it already and you are planning to, for this part in particular, I highly recommend that maybe you come back and catch this on YouTube uh, when it's loaded up next week after you've gotten a chance to play. This one in particular is a test of certain aspects of our rules that it might be a little spoiled if you jump into it uh, a bit early. Um, so I'm gonna give you just a brief pause to decide all right, you're good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read the introduction before I uh, let uh, the rest of my players introduce themselves. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. This week could not be worse. The journey through the deadly wastelands of the World Wound has stretched on for five days now, escorting a group of heroes from the esoteric order of the Palantine Eye to the demon-infested town of Undaran. The watch commander said that this mission was of the utmost importance, but when talking to the heroes, it seems that they were in their intent upon recovering some ancient writings called the White Axiom. Archaeology seems hardly worth risking lives over, no matter how rare the prize, but those were the orders, and the members of the crusade are known for their bravery and honor. I'm sure that they're talking about all of you, by the way. Bravery and honor, that's, 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 the, that's the four of you. No, it is, it is. No, especially you. Um, although these lands are not nearly as dangerous as they once were, now that the world wound is closed, there are still roaming bands of demons, savage barbarians, and supernaturally diseased wildlife to contend with. The going has been terribly slow, and upon arriving at the destination, it has become clear that the ruins are far more deadly than the corrupted countryside. Demons lurk in the shadows, and the dead stir from their endless slumber, and blasphemous chanting can be heard down every alley, calling upon the foul powers that brought devastation to this land. The temple to Desna was not hard to find, located above a narrow valley on the city's outskirts. Upon arriving, the esoteric order heroes immediately descended into the catacombs to confirm the writings they sought were here. Fortunately, they were right. The ancient texts were down below. Unfortunately, they can't be moved as the letters are carved into the walls of a long-forgotten cavern beneath the ruined church. It will take some time for the heroes to learn what they can from the writings, but interacting with the powerful arcane formulas will undoubtedly attract the local inhabitants. Once the esoteric order heroes begin, the demons will notice an attack, but they only need to be held, out, held off long enough for the heroes of the esoteric order to complete their task. So for those of you who've been watching, we've had a, a, a group of heroes who have played twice now on our stream in parts one and four. Uh, it is in fact those heroes, I was nearly going to ask Eric Keith here to reprise his role as the Goblin Paladin to say, you guys got this, and then run out of the room. But there just wasn't enough room in the studio. So um, we'll assume he did that. He and uh, uh, the others have ventured down below to begin translating the writings. The four of you are crusaders who uh, have been here for years uh, dealing with the demons of this place. You're used to their foul uh, taint and influence. And you all happen to know each other. So why don't I let you guys uh, introduce yourselves uh, and your characters. Tell everybody about what you do here and uh, at Paizo and a little bit about your character. And we'll start right here. Uh, my name is Michael Sayre. I'm an organized play developer here at Paizo. I am sitting in for uh, Judy from the editing department today, and I am running her goblin, Jeski, who is a goblin rogue that likes to bite things. Uh, Jeski will also be packing a pretty impressive crossbow for this adventure. Hi, I'm Owen Casey Stevens. I'm the Starfinder design lead here at Paizo, uh, and today I will be paying Kaelwyn <coughs> Anor, who is a elven imperial sorcerer who also happens to be a paladin of Arastel. Uh, I will primarily be trying to blow up the bad guys and heal the good guys. I'm sure that's going to work out great. While we're told to hold the door. Hold Basically, the door. Yeah. <laughs> hold the door. <laughs> hold the... Oh. oh. That's spoilers for it's something a... entirely different. <laughs> Your name is Hostair. Wait, oh. <laughs> Does that count as too soon, or has it been long enough now? It's never it's too always soon. too soon. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what I meant. 
I'm Mark Moreland. I'm uh, Paizo's franchise manager. And uh, today I will be playing Dell, a halfling monk uh, who is uh, a zealot of Zonkuthon and uh, believes that uh, what does not kill her makes her stronger. So the world wound has been the perfect place for her to be. Hi, I'm Linda Zayas Palmer. I, uh, like Mike, am a developer for the Pathfinder Organized Play. I am going to be playing Ingrid here today. She is a barbarian from the land of the Linarm Kings. Um, she very much believes in the ways of Gorum. She plans to die someday in glorious battle. Um, we'll see how soon that happens. Today is not that day. Uh, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> You're right. It might be next Thursday. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so, um, the uh, four of you have been left up here in this kind of shattered ruin. The, the setting for this is an ancient church to Desna. And I do mean ancient. This thing looks several hundreds of years old, if not older. Um, the building itself is in tatters. There are huge sections of the wall that are totally destroyed. The roof is mostly missing. You're, you're looking at a, at a church that has been defiled um, in almost every conceivable way. Um, the heroes went down this central staircase in the middle of the map here that you can see. That's the one. And uh, they said that they need to go down there and begin the ritual as soon as possible. This gives you a few minutes to kind of get the lay of the lands, explore the area, look around, uh, maybe try and find some defensible positions. Um, I should note uh, there are a number of solid walls on the map. Those are, those are uh, solid black. Um, all of the windows uh, are broken. There are no intact windows except for one stained glass window here at the end that seems to be intact, oddly enough. Um, are there ceilings? Um, most of the ceiling is missing over the uh, north end of the temple. So, so from there forward, the, the, the roof is just gone. Okay. Um, there is bits how, of how roof, tall? and there are holes in the roof on the south how side. How tall are the ceilings in those areas where they do exist? Uh, the ceiling is 50 feet high. 50 feet, okay. Yeah. So you have a few minutes. Um, they say it will take them about 10 minutes to start the ritual and get it going. So you have about 10 minutes to look around and cast any preparatory magics you might want to cast. Um, you're assuming that the moment they begin this and start disturbing the... Uh, incredible powers that uh, lie beneath this place that the inhabitants from the city are going to come investigate and um, you can't imagine that they'll be very friendly they're not going to show up with like a fruitcake or a you know a welcoming basket or anything like Dang that it. it sure was nice of those oh, heroes shucks. to give us these fancy red shirts before they <laughs> headed down into <laughs> the basement you are heroes <laughs> get up there and be heroic <laughs> All right, so mm -hmm. uh, if anyone would like to explore anything or take a look around, uh, you can do so now. I would like to set my giant keg of ale on the ground and offer it to anyone who would like a drink on what may be our last day on Galarian. So you've brought a keg of ale this entire way. You've marched... Uh, yes, two kegs of ale. All right, very good. Yeah, no. All right. They're what on my character sheet. What are you doing right. with the other one? <laughs> That's um, in case we survive that's for till tomorrow. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to set them both down. One that's is for the, now, one's for later. That's the party ale. That's for Clearly. later. I mean, obviously. Is it your plan, my friend, to sneak about the combat and take things by surprise? That is largely the plan, yes. Since we may be dealing with supernatural enemies and possibly even spellcasters, I will cast upon you non-detection, which has a duration of eight hours. Because there's no point in me having non-detection. They'll spot me anyway. You are shiny and obvious. I, I am. I yeah. really am. Um, these collapsed stairwells, are they solid to the ground? Is there room to, like... You could hide kind of underneath them, um, at least the, the five feet kind of towards me uh, on the south side, uh, but obviously the five foot right next to the end landing is too low to the ground for you to kind of hide. And this here is the stairway that goes down, down to where they're doing the... Correct. So that is the that is the stairway we need to protect at all costs. That's the stairway that the demons cannot be allowed to pass by. Is there a closed for maintenance sign that I can move in front? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's so a velvet they, rope. Yeah, oh, no well, one I, can pass pulled, the velvet rope. I pull that across. Yeah. Our job here is done. Yeah, no. 
You can just go take a nap. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Clearly, the demons will respect. That's how I've survived this long in the world wound. Yes, is by using signage. All right. Um, there is an ancient altar uh, uh, up on um, the dais. Um, it, unlike everything else around here that looks like it's been smeared with blood and awful, the altar looks relatively intact, as does the stained glass window. They're the only two things that don't look ruined and horrible in is, here. Is this the stained glass window that's good? or No, it's over thing? here. It's facing the south. And what's on the stained glass window? Um, the stained glass window... Um, uh, shows an image of Desna flying around the moon. Butterfly gods. Hmm. So this Clearly that their belief in a butterfly god did not do them very well. <laughs> if you look out over the ruined city. Yeah. Yeah, in preparation for what's going on, um, I, I have some spiked chains that are wrapped around my arm that I just sort of tighten just to just to feel the just, pain. Just to remind me of the pain and of my own mortality and of the glory that awaits uh, when I eventually go to meet Zonkathon. Uh, <laughs> should should the pain become too much for me? Oh, that's that's fair. Yeah. yeah. As a as a as a worshiper of Zonkathon, you certainly have come to the right place for pain. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's worked out very well yeah. for me. Um, so. Uh, is there a place where I could climb to try and get a, a perhaps a lookout of what might be approaching from outside the building or that would give me a good tactical view of well so um, you could either you have one of two options on that front you could climb up onto the intact roof um, the portions of the roof that are intact um, but that doesn't look too sturdy in the grand scheme of things I'm light um, or you could say perch on top of one of the broken pieces of wall. Okay. <coughs> and and are we in the center of town? Or are we on the edge? Like is town one direction? Town's kind <coughs> of that way uh, to the west. Okay. So then I guess I will climb um, up. This is on kind of a bluff. You'll notice the east side kind of falls away. Oh, okay, it's just steeper. Pretty pretty quickly. Okay. Um. Yeah. So like I'll climb up. I guess like here. And I've got a climb speed, so if given a few you have minutes, plenty of I can time. just, yeah, yeah, can just get, scurry get right up, up there, there. and yeah. look around. So you mentioned that this altar is suspiciously not desecrated. <coughs> uh, my friend, do you see anything magical about? Is it desecrated? Oh, Mark. Oh. Um, <clears throat> I am here for the pain. Yeah, but we're not. We're not. So there's no need to share. Zonkathon right. uh, will bless you whether you want it or not. No, that's um, what I always. At, at my colleague's request, uh, I will cast check magic, which will be automatically hit into uh, fourth level and sweep a thirty foot area, and just for the moment keep sweeping to see if I pick up anything here or in the southern section. I'm not going to try to do the whole area. All right, it takes you a few moments to kind of get everything sorted out, but you end up with a, a few uh, senses and. You can definitely tell that there's something about the altar, and as you get close to it, um, you can feel a kind of calmness wash over you, as if Desna's luck is with you while you're near it. Um, so, uh, uh, to keep things moving and to keep things moving along, anybody who's within 10 feet of the altar, once during this adventure, can call upon the altar's blessing to re-roll a d20. I will right. make sure my companions are aware that the luck of Desna has not wholly left this otherwise blasted and accursed place. Um, you also get some sense of magic from the stained glass, although you're not quite sure what. Um, there's something powerful about it. Obviously, since it's still intact, it looks like every other window is in here has been smashed. This one looks like it keeps getting put back together. Gives you the power to fly around the moon. Do I have the minute necessary for quick identify to attempt to identify the magical power of this window? Uh, sure. Does that require a check? I don't know. I need to know if I had the minute before I figured that out. You do have the minute, yes. Okay. See if anyone else wants to do anything while I look this up. Um, there are other things. There's like a ruined stables. There's a, a shattered study down on one end. There's a graveyard. All looks perfectly fine and normal. 
Uh, am I able to enter a stance, or is that something that I can only do when I'm in initiative? Only something you can do in combat. You okay. Can't just, <laughs> I can just be standing there with my tiger just, like, claws ready to go. Posing and like, yeah, I'm ready for a fight. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will have my uh, my plus three holy great axe out though at the ready. Yeah, this is a good point to to kind of ask what people are doing. You know, if if a fight were about to start and you're expecting one to start any moment, uh, what what do you have out? What do you have ready to go? You have your your axe yeah. out. And I'm I'm looking around to just in, say, in case any demons show up, so that I'll hopefully notice them when they arrive. All right. Um, I have my fists ever at the ready. Um, okay. Uh, I basically my plan is to hopefully just be out of their view up here and then jump down and punch them. Okay. Wherever they may be. I will currently be wandering around with my uh, Lesser Staff of Evocation because I could use that hand for somatic components even for staff and my longsword because it's Great. a magic longsword. All right. Uh, I'm going to be nestling down to be as unnoticeable as possible in that corner by the stairwell there with uh, my teeth and my crossbow ready as the situation calls for. Your teeth are ready. <laughs> <laughs> All so right. Identifying magic is in fact a... Uh, Arcane check. All right. Arcana check. And you are supposed to set the DC. I know what that is. Go ahead and roll. I will get a 34. Uh, that is going to be enough. Um, so, um, you're, I mean, obviously this window is sacred to Desna. Clearly. Um, <laughs> and you're pretty sure that if someone were to shine a light through it, um, such as that for my spell okay. were to be cast on the window it would bathe uh, the entire area in Desna's holy radiance you're pretty sure that demons and undead would not like that very much and it might cause them severe pain and discomfort or perhaps make them more vulnerable to that which they are already vulnerable to I, I would also not like it light or Desna stuff. <laughs> yeah, like it might also make your your your, your Zan Kuthan loving character kind of <laughs> cringe. Can we shine darkness through it instead? No, no, that's not going to work. However, <laughs> if you get on the far side of the columns to the north, they will cast shadows from the light. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. It's because I guarantee you I'm lighting this thing up if, if, needs, if needs arise. All okay. right. Um, last but not least, as you kind of wander around, you're pretty sure that the graveyard is like heavily desecrated, and you don't want to go there. Um, I'll, I'll share that with my companions. Yeah, <laughs> well, the moment you get near it, you're like, "Whoa! Mm, oh no! The the magic coming out of that thing is is foul and evil." Just just in case the fact that we're here wasn't enough to keep you out of the graveyard, uh, that particular graveyard is extra gravy. I have a feeling we're all going to be in the graveyard soon. <laughs> This graveyard is extra gravy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm, gravy. It's yeah. all about the gravy. Oh, yeah, we'll not work that with that. kind of gravy. Hmm? Maybe not. Well, it depends you. on how they kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Smoosh. <All right. laughs> Suddenly we're gravy. <laughs> so, uh, is everyone where they would like to be? Pretty much. Can I be in Nadal? <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone where they'd like to be? I'd like to be somewhere else. Uh, let's see. Do you think they're coming? Well, from that's this good way, to maybe? know. Uh, <laughs> nah. Is this an opening? Yes. yes. They're coming from that way. All right. We don't know. You don't know where don't they're know. coming from. Whatever. They're, I'll, I'll go here. All right. How long do your light spells last? Should we just? light up the stained glass window now and let it roll? One, not that long. Two, ah. I'm not sure if it will happen the first time it casts light upon it or if it will last forever. I feel like if it would last forever, there would be a Priest of Desna standing here with the light spell at all times. <laughs> um, You're pretty sure from the way you studied it that it will last for a decent amount of time, but its magic is fading and variable. It probably pro provided this bonus once at all times, but now... You're pretty sure that if you use it, you might get its benefit for, say, one fight. Yeah. And then after that, it'll fade. So I'm, I'm not lighting that sucker up till things start. All right. Speaking of which... Um, which could be sooner than I would hope. Okay. <laughs> the four of you are waiting, poised. The tension slowly builds in you. The city is quiet, although 
Every once in a while, the wind shifts, and from somewhere far off in the distance, you hear a cursed chanting made from lips that are not those of man. They are demons, and they are chanting, and they are calling. From down below, there is a shudder. The earth itself seems reluctant to give up its secrets that these heroes have come here to pry. The ground shakes. All together at once, there is a rumble. Fine line cracks split the floor here and there, and a faint light emerges from the earth. The heroes have begun the ritual. No sooner did this happen than from far off in the city you can hear howls, cries of rage and anger. Someone has come to defile this place. Defile it from the defilers. And they seem displeased. Seconds later, the first wave of them appears. So Appears as in Who's? They pop into place. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Four demons appear. Um, before I decide how to place these, um, Jeski, what's Jeski's uh, stealth? Uh, 19, and then Jeski also has the uh, improved initiative uh, ability for the plus one on it, checks if that's going to matter. All right. Um, so I am actually not going to place one of these right near you because they don't know where you are. Yes. Um, but uh, their their uh, observation of the site has shown them everyone else. So if somebody else is getting tag team, and we'll just go with Mark. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm up high. <laughs> you're right. No, that's they, fair. Would they, that's would fair. they see me? No, no. Two of them will appear around. Uh, who's that in the center there? That's uh, bring them up. Yeah. All right. Here you go. <laughs> uh, we'll put two right near you. Uh, one outside. Uh, about 20 feet away, and uh, we will put one about 20 feet away from Moreland's character. Outside or inside of the... Uh, uh, we'll say in s- or outside, actually. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. So, with a, with a pop, an audible kind of pop as the air rushes away from them as they materialize in place, you see four large hulking fiends. They're covered in horns. Um, each one of them uh, is doesn't appear to be armed at all. They just have large, wicked-looking claws and horns. They kind of throw back their heads and howl in anger uh, as they see you, um, and it is obvious to you that the fight has begun. So, can I get everyone to roll initiative? Um, for most of you, this will be a perception check. Um, uh, Jeski can roll stealth if you would like. I have battle cry, <coughs> so I'll also be yelling at one of these guys as a part of my initiative. All right. So should I do the initiative first? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Um, uh, Ingrid, what do you got? 27. Uh... Uh, Jeski, what do you got? 37. Uh, Kaylin, what do you got? 18. Dell, what do you got? 36. All right. I have everyone in initiative order. Um, you said you had a uh, battle cry that opens up uh, the fight? Yes. Uh, what's that allow you to do? Um, it, when I roll initiative, I can demoralize a foe as a free action. Great. All right. So I'm assuming you're going to demoralize... Uh, I want to get one of these off. Oh, one of the ones uh, one back the there. All right. Yeah, yeah sure. So you uh, you howl at one of the ones that has appeared behind you. How dare they sneak in like that? Flee before my might! <laughs> All right, go ahead and give me the uh, uh, Intimidate check. All right, that's going to be a 24 on Intimidate. And I believe that is against my will, DC, correct? Mm-hmm. All right, uh, that is dead on. So it looks like I have the Frightened 1 condition uh, for a brief bit. Funny enough, these these manifestations of fear and hate suddenly looks at you and is like, <laughs> just a little. Um, Jeski, you have initiative. 
It appears that none of the goblins have, or none of the demons have noticed you. Um, so there's a part of me that really wants to play this smart with my crossbow. The other part of me sees my friend in mortal danger and is going to find out what demons taste like. So I will... <laughs> Spoilers. How is that not, not smart? Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that so. seems like the smartest thing. Play it smart and eat the demon. Yeah. Works out well. Yeah. I will stride up to the demon. Um, it is going to be flat-footed against my Correct. attacks. Yep. So that's um, one of your actions? That's action one. Action two... I'm going to bite it. Uh, all right. Oh, or not. All right. So you uh, just attempted to bite me and rolled a one. Rolled a one. Uh, that, uh, but this is a bite, right? This is a bite. All right. I can't disarm that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. That would be painful. Uh. Right, you, yeah, you, you're, 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 you run up and attempt to chomp the demon, uh, but you, you, in your, in your, in your haste, uh, you miss by a good foot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna miss the tip of my tongue, but it's not gonna be enough to stop me from biting again. That's fair. Um, and that'll be a minus five. No, agile minus four. Uh, it's a twenty-nine. All right, so uh, that is with your penalty. All right, uh, so uh, that is going to hit. Uh, can you go ahead and give me some damage? Remember, I am flat-footed. All righty, so here comes the bite and the sneak attack damage. That's a lot of dice. Uh, 15, 21, 27, 29, plus five is 34. That is the biggest chomp I've seen in this game so far. Um, all right, so uh, you go up. have big mouths. Yeah, no, it's fair. <laughs> you run up and just, like, bite a huge chunk of flesh off of this thing's, like, calf. And just a... Nah, nah, nah. Um, tastes kind of like sulfur and burning. But, um, tastes you know... Tastes like burning. Tastes like burning, yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, not too bad. Could use a little seasoning. Uh, all right. That was Jeski Dell. Okay. So I am how high up? Uh, we will say that you're about 20 feet up here. Okay. I would like to attempt a quick jump to jump at that thing. All right. So I would be uh, DC 5, uh, 10, 15, 20 to yep. be there. Yep. Um, I don't need to stride um, because of my quick jump feet. So my athletics check is a 17. 17 sounds like fail. Yeah, I do fail that. Um, so that's, I leave the max, maximum distance allowed by the leap action. So it sounds like you come up short. So you'll have to burn another action to get up to me. Okay. All right, so you go leaping down off the pillar and land, but then I have to spend another action to move up to me. Okay, and then with my third action, I'm yep. going to Flurry of Blows with my uh, unarmed yes. strikes. Very good. Um, and... All right, so for Flurry now, uh, different from first edition, I make two attacks yes. using my regular bonuses. It's, it's, it's just a single action. Yeah, it's just them. your single action, but you get two attacks. Instead. Right, okay. And so that's going to be a 35. Hit. And a 35. Uh, the, which one of those had the penalty of, what, at least four? Uh, yeah, the, the first one, um, yeah. I rolled lower. So I had uh, I have a plus 21, so 14 plus 21, all right. 35, and then I had 18 plus 17. Oh, all right. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So I hit with both. Those and, are both going to hit? Okay, and then I've got the... I don't even know what ability it comes from, but the that if I hit with both of my flurries... They bump the die. I, they bump the die. So right. that'll go from D6s to D8s. Correct. Okay. Yep. So... Oh, boy. Two, three, four... Seven, 
six is four. No. Uh, forty-one 43. damage. All right, so you did forty-one damage 43. to the to the slaver demon. Forty-one. Forty-three. Forty-three. I'll learn math. All right. Cool. Uh, all right, so you run up and give it a quick one-two punch. Uh, your fist slamming into the slaver demon. Um, it uh, it takes that. It looks like that hurt, but it is still raring to fight. Uh, do, do I get the sense that all of that damage that did it did it slake off any of that damage, or was it did it take it all? Looks like it took it all. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Uh, that was Del Ingrid. Well, scaring more demons sounds like fun, so um, I would like to enter a rage and using my mighty rage uh, demoralize this guy. Oh. <laughs> Natural 19. Oh boy. Um, so that's going to be a 38. He is very spooked. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> you are in fact scary angry. <laughs> you, 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 you go into a rage so terrifying that that demon just pooped a little. He's he's really not happy with himself. He's he feels like he maybe have made some bad unlife afterlife hell life choices. <laughs> so um, okay, uh, wow. so he is. Oh god, frightened. Two. <laughs> well, if they're good and scared, it's time to let forth a terrifying hell. Oh, okay. So all frightened creatures within 30 feet of me was attempt to save against my intimidation DC, which is 29. Uh, will save. Um, and if they fail, they are going to be frightened and fleeing. Okay. Flee before me or what's I will the, strike you down. What's the range on that? Um, 30 feet. 30 feet. And yeah, both of them right within range. Uh, the first one uh, is now <laughs> frightened and fleeing even more. And so is the second one. Well, in that case, if those two are running away, <coughs> you're next. That's some good work you're doing. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for the cough, everybody. Just mm -hmm. getting over a cold. All right. So, Ingrid, your entire uh, action this round was just uh, making spoopy, screamy noises at demons. All right. <coughs> what better thing to start your fight with? No, I mean if you're gonna if you're gonna you know if you're gonna start that's that's a decent way to start. I she's think so leaping scary. off a wall and punching things is a better way to start. No, she's so scary. Just yelling at demons makes them run away. Okay. The attack would have reduced the whole the whole frightening effect, right? She doesn't even have to attack them. Uh, All I'll right. Attack now. Next okay. Time. Okay. <laughs> so they get to go now. Um, the two. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mike, the demon near you, yep. uh, move it to the edge of the map because it, it's running away. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and the demon, uh, not the one that the goblin is fighting, the other one, flees uh, back out that way. How far? Uh, basically take it to the edge of the map. Well, there's a uh, yeah, I know. drop here. Yep. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he goes running off that way. That's all he does this round. Well, that'll make it a little easier. All right, so... Um, <laughs> So, uh, those two demons go fleeing, and then let me take the actions of the other demons. Okay, first off, um, uh, Mark, mm -hmm. the demon in front of you, uh, holds out its fist and says, Your soul is mine! My soul is on Cathans! Uh, give me a will save. <laughs> That's a 34. 34, all right. Well, um, you can feel him trying to enslave your soul, uh, but uh, that's... My soul is already yeah. enslaved to yeah, another, that's right. sir. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my soul's already enslaved to another. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. And then uh, with his uh, second and third action, do you have the ability to take an attack of opportunity? Um, I'm not sure. You or probably don't. I don't think so. Like no, I didn't take anything special to give me that. All right. So uh, he is uh, casting a spell on himself. 
Mm -hmm. He moves his hands in rhythmic ways, and uh, all of a sudden he starts moving even faster. And now he has an additional action this round that he can take for a stride or a strike, uh, which he is going to use to strike you. So he is going to attack you with his horns. Here he comes. So he's like meddling me to death. Yeah, basically. Uh, that is a terrible roll. I'm wagering armor class 24 is not going to do it. Mm-hmm. No. All right. So uh, that is it for him this round. He uh, howls in impotent rage as he is unable to do really much of anything to you. Uh, the other demon over here turns on you, does the same thing, holds out its claw, says your soul is mine. Give me a will save. No matter how this plays out, it'll never change the fact that I ate your calf. <laughs> that it's is, called veal. That is fair, and I would like that back. 31. <laughs> 31. Unfortunately, your soul is not mine. Otherwise, I was going to ask you if I could have that back because I really missed that. And instead, uh, I guess I'm, I'm just really disappointed in myself for letting it come to this. So I guess I'm just going to do what the other demon did, and I'm going to haste myself. Do you have the ability to take that? I do not. All right. Uh, in which case, I have now hasted myself, and then I'm going to attack you with my horns. Seems fair. Is there anything you would like to declare as a reaction? Um, I am going to nimble dodge. All right, that increases your AC by two. And I did not roll too great on that either. A 27, I'm going to wager, is not going to hit you. Insufficient. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right. Um, so, uh, after uh, two ineffectual dice rolls, the demons have taken their turns. Kaelin, it's up to you. I, uh, I have waited my entire role playing career to be able to do this. The spellcaster will stand there, staff in one hand, longsword in the other, and tell that demon, You shall not <laughs> pass. All right, you, get one you know of those, what happens next, then... right? You fall down a very big hole. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yes, I do know what at, happens next. At the very least, I want to see you take a tumble down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, bigger, the smaller the demon, the smaller the fall. That's right. right. Yeah, no, this uh, is really just kind of more of a tumble. I yeah. will then take three actions to cast a fifth level magic missile. Oh boy. Doing 94 plus 9. Well, that's... To him. Yeah, that's probably better than just standing there waving a stick around. <laughs> well, when yeah. you slam the staff down with the bright light mm. and then the magic missiles come out of that. Same thing. Yeah, right. Thirty-two points of damage. Oof! Those missiles all slam into that demon. All of them hit home. Thirty-two points of damage. Oof. Oh yes, he's taken sixty-six damage. Uh, he looks uh, wounded, but by no means uh, in critical condition. These things look like they can take quite a beating. Um, so uh, that is the bottom of the order. We're going to start over uh, up at the top with Jeski. All right. Uh, Nobody came up to give you a flank. <laughs> well, I'm just going to continue eating the demon. That is, he looks mildly terrified <laughs> of that. He's just kind of looking at you like, what, what's happening? This is the opposite of how this is supposed yeah. to go. And eating the demon is the title of my next album, by the way. So that first one is going to be a 37 to chomp him. That's a critical hit. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's a critical bite. Mm. So you bite him somewhere critical. Okay. <laughs> and you're short. <laughs> so since I don't have a flame... I'll leave that for the stream to figure out. I would still normally do half of 3d6. Instead of rolling half of 3d6 twice, I just roll half 3D6. of 3d6? Um, because I have the um, sly striker, where I get half my sneak attack damage even when they're not flat uh, So that would that would actually bump down to just 1d6, so you will get 2d6. Uh, you don't get to double the... Savvy. You don't get to undo the halving that, that already kind of caved off uh, to the dice. He needs more d6s. 20, 30, plus 10 is 40. 40! Um, and then I will spend an action to twist the knife, the knife in this case being my mouth. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm really confused as to how you're doing damage, and I kind of don't want to know, but please continue. You gotta uh, rip the gristle off the bone. four points of persistent bleed damage. Oh. Oh, that... 
I'm gonna. You bit him in the tail, his very sensitive tail, and have ripped off the end of it. He now has bleed for it. <laughs> um, I'm kind of digging like that spicy sulfuric taste, so I'm going back for another as right. my last action. Ah, you got the craven. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> Can I use 39 your dice? minus 4 is a 35. That's a hit, but not a crit. Alrighty. He doesn't roll like this in the Shattered Star game. Yeah. Count yourself lucky. It's because he's it. playing Judy's character. Oh, fair. Uh, Thanks nine, for the virtual 15, love, Judy. Yes. Judy may Hope be you're home. feeling better. <laughs> uh, only 24 on only that one. Only 24. All right. Um, the demon now looks hurt, it's very hurt, uh, but it is still up and fighting. Uh, that was Jeski. It also, by the way, looks at you rather abhorrently. It wasn't expecting so many large bites to be taken out of it this early in the day. Normally that's an afternoon activity for demons. Uh, Del, it is your turn. Okay, so I will use an action to enter Tiger Stance. All right. And then... Uh, I will... Uh, a popular choice amongst folks on this stream, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, Is yeah. that, yeah? Okay. Um, you learned it from the... Uh, the I learned the, it from, the, from Katina. Yeah, from yeah. Katina, who you traveled here with. Yeah. Yes, that's totally yeah. what happened. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Um, and then I'm going to, once again, flurry. All right. Um, okay, so... The... 16 plus the 21 is a 37. That's a crit, 37 right? is That's a crit, yeah. Okay. And then I have the 18 plus 17 is 35. Also a hit. But not a crit. Correct. Okay. So that bumps my dice up an additional um, thing from a, from D8s to D10s? Or do we do... What, for the crit? Uh, no, because it's a flurry and I hit with both of them. Yeah. So it, so that bumps you up from what a d6 to a d8. No, because Tiger Stance does d8. Oh, okay. So yeah, now you're at a d10. Yeah. Okay. I, need more I forgot dice. about the Tiger Stance. Yeah. What uh, you need? Uh, so I hit. I need eight d10. So one, two, oh, yours also. three, four. I need four. There's two more. There's two more. Okay, that'll do it. Well, but then I'm gonna need another four because I critted. But Which I'll just have to roll, roll something roll. twice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, I've got 10, 20. You're welcome. Those are both my dice. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Mike's then, dice are officially banned at all future <laughs> Paizo events. And then here's uh, 18, so that's 38. Um, there's another 10, 48, 55. And then I'm going to roll Mike's dice again. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Uh, uh, these are not as great. Um, 65, 73 plus, plus 9. So 82. Gotcha. All right. Uh, Ow. You have pummeled the hell out of that demon with those two hits. Uh, what are you doing with your final action? Um, I, I guess I'll hit him again? Well, you can try. You're at a minus eight on this one. Uh, I don't see any reason not to. Yeah. Um, and that's a natural 20. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> So Some tactical advice you gave him there, Jason. <laughs> so it's a, yeah, yeah, might so, as it's well. a so it's a thirty-three. That's which, a crit. Okay. Yeah. Um, Good thing you still have all this. Well, he doesn't need all of them, right? No, I still yeah. want Mike's dice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He wants Mike's dice. Sure, of course he does. <laughs> Do you get the uh, dice up with uh, with oh, attacks I, after the flurry? I guess I don't. So yeah, these so are just d8s. Yeah, so you need d8s. Okay. There you go. You have enough d8s for you. 
<laughs> no, that's that's not fair. We can't all share Mike's high rolling lucky dice. This is I actually have enough D8s, so I'm I will going not. to be lodging a complaint with the Demon Union <laughs> local six six six. So the demons attacked us in the Temple of Desna, and they're not happy that luck is going against them. You, you yeah. would have think they would have thought that through You'd a little bit more. Think they would have thought that through a little bit more. <laughs> Forget it. I'm going home. All Good. Right, so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the point. So there's 12, 14, 19, 26, 33. Then it's 40, 46. 46. All right. Having already pummeled the hell out of it, you now pummel some other extra planar locations out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I clawed it, and then I went... <laughs> All right, it now looks very, very badly hurt. Those wounds, those hits took a lot out of it, but it is still up and fighting. Egret. Flight time. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, now that you're done making them all terrified, <laughs> what, what do you got now? Uh, plus three holy great axe. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> a good answer. I don't, I don't want that. Sorry, you asked. Uh, I didn't, gave it the office. It didn't, didn't roll too great, though. That's a 25. Uh, that's going to miss. Is oh, that actually, your flank? Uh, I'm no. flanked. That hits. Oh. <laughs> Son of a... No, it's fine. <laughs> All good here. Son of a goblin. How are you? How are you? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm right here. There, there's your requisite 24. Star Wars uh, reference. One oh, per stream. Yeah, Dan's one per stream. Yeah. <laughs> 24, 33... Um, so that's going to be 38 plus 6 cold. 6 cold? Is any of that good? You said it was a holy weapon? Oh, right, yes, it's a holy weapon. My apologies, 5 more. Alright, so what was the total? Uh, you don't care about the types? Uh, no, in this case I really don't. Alright, 49 then. 49, but I do want to, I do want to note that there is some good in there. There is some good. 49, uh... She literally did some good. She Aww. did do some good. As a matter of fact, that demon now looks critically injured, and when that axe hits it, uh, its flesh like boils and smokes and bursts into white flame and falls away to ash. It looks like that very badly. That's how hurt you it. get gremlins. It's true. Yeah, it's just like that. You that doesn't look away. Edible. Yeah, no, that part no longer looks edible. Yeah, it's cooked. That was one action. Yep. Or uh, actually, and you two. You had to move. And then that. Yeah. You should have run away like your coward friends. Uh, perhaps you're right. This guy <laughs> keeps eating me. And all right, there we go. That's going to be natural 16. So that'll be a. Um, what was that? Because that's an iterative attack. So that'll be a 31 to hit. 31 will hit. Six, 13. Not as good this time. 19. 30 damage, some of which is good. Uh, your axe slams into it again, and uh, as the axe cleaves into it, um, its flesh just like collapses into like a red tar, and it just immediately starts boiling and burbling away. The last thing to go is its head, and it's staring at you going, Don't eat me! Uh, you can give me that one. Uh, that slaver demon has been destroyed. I look down at the burbling mess, and... I've never said this before, but I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> it really looks gross. Like like when it when it just kind of collapsed, it, it literally looks like somebody just let the air out of a demon balloon uh, and inside was just filled with red pus. It's really gross. Um, there are bits of like blackened demonic bone that are like broiling to the surface as it just collapses into ooze and Would nothingness. You eat it All right, with you're a starting pickle, to sell though. me on it. <laughs> All right, well, now maybe. All right. Um, okay. Uh, that was Ingrid. Let's see. Uh, I had one guy fleeing. I think they both fled. Um, their speed is... There it is. So they've moved that far yeah. away. And it's fleeing for one round unless they critically fail. And yeah. I guess one round anyway because they're only frightened for one round. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So... Uh, those two demons. Uh, we'll start with the one that's on the uh, on the edge of the map out there. Uh, they it, away. Uh, they did for a round, and now mm -hmm. they're running back. Uh, this one uh, 
appears again just inside the broken window right there. Yep, right there. That's uh, one, two. Um, and uh, it will appear there and it looks at you and says, your soul is mine. Uh, give me a will save, please. Uh, that'll be a 27. I mean, it'll be mine later when you fail a save because that wasn't enough. All right. Um, the other one is going to appear just inside the broken window on this side. There we go. Perfect. Um, and let's see. Who is that? That is... Scandal. That is good. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That is... Uh, Mr. Endier, please. Uh, <laughs> Kaelwyn. Uh, Kaelwyn, that one looks at you and, and does the same thing. Yeah, Your right. soul, give it to me! 32. <sighs> Your dice, they roll too well. <laughs> Give me your dice instead. I, can, I, can I borrow those? Mine are pretty terrible. All right. Last but not least, I have a demon uh, facing off uh, with uh, Dell over there. And uh, it is going to attack you with its horns. Uh, armor class 29. Mm-mm. Uh, we'll attack you with. Uh, we're gonna go to a claw, I think. Yeah. That's terrible. And it'll try one last time. No, those 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 are all bad rolls. You have the best dice ever, Jason. No, I, I know them. these I dice rolled them. really well for me on the previous stream. This time, mm -hmm. not so much. Those are three terrible rolls. I think my high there was a twenty-nine. Yeah, it was a twenty-nine. Both mm -hmm. the ones that came after it were lower. All right. Um, Wow, that really did not help me much. Okay, uh, so uh, that was uh, all of their actions. Uh, Kilwin, we're back to you. Uh, right now, this honestly doesn't look like I need to keep using high-level spell slots, so just <laughs> just to see how things are going. Burn. Uh, I, will take, I will take one action to uh, cast a shield spell. Okay. And then two actions to cast... Uh, Ray of Frost from my Staff of Evocation. All right. Uh, since it is a cantrip, I do not have to worry about either resonance or expending a spell slot, uh, and it's automatically heightened uh, this top <coughs> shot at fifth. So that will be a ranged touch attack, and I will hit a 29. Uh, 29 on a ranged touch will hit. Okay. So I will then do 2d8 plus my spellcasting ability score, which is a plus five. This is cold damage, and it's 19 points. 19 points. All right. Uh, the uh, ray hits it, and some of its flesh uh, freezes up, but that doesn't look like it did too much to it. Does it um, look like it res no, resisted it, at all? It doesn't look like it resisted it. It just didn't look like it was all that much compared to its hit points. Great. Uh, Jeski. All right. Um, Jeski is going to... Level the crossbow at that fella right there and fire. Uh, it is a 28. Uh, 28 is going to hit. And He's still picking up dice, Jason. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so that is. Whoops, that was a 2. Uh, 10. 17, 24, uh, so that is 24, and one point of that is acid damage. 24 and one point, which one are you firing at? This one. This one? Right. The red one. Uh, and one point is acid? The acid hits it, and its flesh just burns and melts away at a far greater rate than that bolt ever oh, should have done. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then this I'm going to well use running reload <laughs> All right. to stride up to it while reloading my crossbow. All right. And then I'm going to use my last action to begin hitting this demon. No, he's like, what? No, <laughs> what are you doing? Bring back the crossbow. <laughs> so, what, it does acid to it? Yeah, well, I'll take that over being eaten. <laughs> I think that's going to miss on a 26. Uh, 26 will miss, yeah. All right, so uh, you run up and attempt to bite it, but miss you just barely. All right, uh, that was Jeski. Del. Does this guy look hurt yet? <laughs> Quite badly. Hmm? Yeah, he looks badly hurt. Um, is there a, a 
check I can make or whatever to determine whether or not I need to try and hit him twice or try and hit him once. Uh, any sort of check I would give you would be an action, which you may not want to spend. Okay. Um, my, I, looks, I mainly want to know whether looks, I should use my flurry on him or on this other guy. But um, He looks pretty badly hurt. Pretty badly? I'm not going to take any chances, so I will flurry him. All right. Oh. Well, the 18 will definitely hit, because that's a 39. So that's that a, crit, a, right? a crit, right? That's a crit, yeah. And then the... Uh, 19, I assume, will miss. 19 is going to miss. Yeah. So, we're um, stuck with D8s then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Just, 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 just D8. a crit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I could use one extra D8 in my. What? <laughs> no, no, he doesn't have D8s to loan anyone. <laughs> Mike, watch your D8s and make sure they don't start disappearing under yeah. the table. No. Yeah, when I start rolling them, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry, these are player dice. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want to touch those. No, They're no. polluted. Bad juju. Yeah, I know, you're right. Uh, that is 30 points. 30 points. The trick is to make sure the dice rest with the number you want them to roll facing up. Oh. That is an old superstition <laughs> that I don't ascribe to. Uh, uh, that In, uh, hurt it really bad, but it is still up. Okay, then I will hit it again. Well, you will try. I'll try. This one said I'm minus eight. Yeah. Ooh. So that's going to miss. And then with action number three, I'll... Still just going to be at a minus eight if you yeah. decide to strike. What else am I going to do? Uh, 24? No, I'm afraid yeah. not. All right, so uh, you are fighting this demon as best you can, but it just won't go down. On the upside, it doesn't appear to be able to hit you at all. Uh, Ingrid. <laughs> I mean, this exchange is still turning out your favor so far. It's fine. I'm going to sudden charge. Zonpithon is showing Desna how it's done. Up into this guy's face. All right. Uh, you go running right up to attack. Yep. And I'm going to smack him with my weapon. Uh, that's a 32. 32 is going to hit. Seven, three, thirty-five. So it's thirty-five. Good. Yeah, there it is. Uh, all right. Uh, it howls in pain as your axe hits it, uh, but it is still up and still fighting. Oh, sorry, forty. Some of which is good. I forgot to add my strength bonus. Then. Oh, all right. <laughs> Fine. All right. It's still up. Though. All right. Then I'm gonna smack it again. Hopefully. Uh, natural eighteen. So. Um, that's going yeah. To hit. yeah. Lots of D12s flying here today. Yep. 225. 33. 33. All right. Some of which is holy. Some, Some of which is holy, holy which looks like it hurts it more than its yes. fair share. Um, that looks like it hurt it uh, badly, but it is still fighting. Um... The demons go. All right. I'm going to start down there with you, Mark. Mm -hmm. Horns. You get... You mess with the demon. You get the horns. I rolled a one. All right. So... Can I just sort of pull one of those horns off? Yeah, I talked a big game. That's why I rolled a one. That's how this works. (laughs) Yeah. All right. It's going to go after you again. Uh, This time with claws. I think this one might actually connect. We'll see. Um... Let's see, that is a 30. Nope. No. Oh. I'm wily. Yeah, apparently. No, the last one's going to miss them as well. Uh, very wily. All right, so I've got this other demon over here. Uh, he is going to go ahead and, uh, let's see, you hit him with the corrosive bolt, but you got that nasty uh, axe. Yeah, come at me. So uh, he's going to come after you. All right, here comes the horns. Armor class 34. That will hit. All right. Hey, look at that, everybody. I finally managed to connect. Okay. Uh, take 24 points of damage. Is uh, any of that piercing? It is all piercing. All right. Well, then um, I will resist four of that. All right. And 16 of that will go into my temporary hit points, so I will take four damage. 
temporary hit points. Oh, you're raging. She's I'm raging. a barbarian. Oh, barbarian. All right. Uh, then I will come after you with claws. Uh, armor class uh, 24. Mm-mm. No. Uh, and armor class 26. Mm-mm. All right. Uh, so it uh, it tries to uh, rip at you with those. Uh, the uh, demon over here near the window is going to go hop over the altar. One, two, three, four, five. And it's going to need to double to get up to you, but it comes running up behind you. Groovy. Uh, could somebody move that uh, demon up to uh, the uh, character in the middle there? There you go. Thank you for the sound effects. That helps. It. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, that's what demon footsteps sound like. That's right, yeah. It's going to run up there and... Uh, uh, try and hit you with its horn. Okay. Uh, armor class thirty-five. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as a reaction, since I have a shield up, yeah, I am going to go ahead and use a shield block. All right. So you will reduce the damage by fifteen. Uh, let's see. That's. So you only take nine. Okay. Yeah, that's what gets through the shield as it uh, as it pierces you and and causes you to take a little damage. All right, um, that is unfortunately all that my demons can do this round. Kaelin, I got a question for you. Yeah, sure. So, shield is now down and can't be cast for ten minutes. Correct. Shield at every level because that was a fifth level shield. Can I still cast a first or third level shield? Nope. Just checking. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice try though. <laughs> That I expected that to be the answer. Yep. But Good to ask. you know what? Yeah. Actually, I would rather have one dead demon than two injured demons. So even though this guy has come up and hit me, I'm going to shoot at him. All right. Uh, I am going to fire an acid splash. Okay. Uh, the demon is going to take an attack opportunity. Fair enough. Uh, here comes its horns. Uh, armor class 25. No. I'm a sorcerer, but I'm a sorcerer in half plate. Yeah, I rolled pretty poorly. All right. All right. Uh, 36 touch. 36 touch uh, is a crit. Very well. Uh, let's see. So this is heightened to fifth level, so I am going to be doing 4d4 plus 10, and it will do persistent 3. All right. All acid. Oh. I don't <laughs> want that. <laughs> Could I have a different spell, please? No. All right. I had to ask. Uh, 13 acid, 3 persistent acid. That was with a, that was with a crit? Yeah. Okay. It's it's only... Oh, because it's a... It's a cantrip. Blast. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, that's... I can do that all day. I can Captain America this fall. All right. Um... <laughs> It uh, looks Two at itself Disney and immediately starts clawing at the wound, third. trying to rip out the flesh that is burning, and that just causes the acid to spread. It looks like it's not really happy about that. Uh, that was two of your actions. Uh, yes. Um, I actually am not going to be taking any other action. All right. Uh, Jeski. Uh, so, quick question. Can I step into that square right there? Yes. I will step into that square right there. So I've got uh, flanking against that demon now. All right. Um, I tighten up my bib and go in for a bite. <laughs> that. Ooh. Uh, tighten it too much. Yeah. It's a 22. <laughs> That's going to miss. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Too tight. <laughs> can't, can't. Yeah, well. It doesn't have a lobster on it. It's got a slaver demon on it. <laughs> <laughs> you planned for that rather no, those, well. No, that was just the drips of slaver oh, demon yeah, that fell fair. out of his yeah. mouth. and Thermidor <laughs> is his favorite meal. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Try it once more. Alrighty, so that is a 34 and flanking. 34 and flanking uh, is going to hit. Not a crit. Alrighty. Dice. Um, and since uh, I hit him flat footed, I'm going to use my debilitating strike on this as well to give him sluggish one. Okay. You monster. <laughs> Six, Goblins aren't monsters anymore, Jason. Ten. <sighs> it's true. I don't have this layers. This one is. Twenty. Uh, <laughs> so that is twenty-five. Twenty-five damage. Damage. And that was step by bite, so that's my turn. All right. 
Uh, you have uh, taken another chunk out of a demon. Uh, is that and, three demons you've now eaten, or did you already bite this one? You've only fought, you've only two. I've I've, I've only taken bites. He's of only two tasted demons. two demons. You want me to save this demon for you? Can we get a demon tasting count? All right, um, <laughs> it's a flight. It's a, a, yeah, flight, a flight of demons. demons. Yeah. <laughs> we can we can tag out. The, yeah. don't, don't worry, you'll get your chance. All right, uh, Del. Uh, I will try and flurry it again. I might as well flurry with my highest attack bonuses. Great. Um, so the green one is a 34. 34. Uh-huh. Uh, 34 will hit. And a 31. Both will hit. Okay, D10s. Um, four. So, oh, I guess I'm combining them, so. Oh, we'll just keep this simple. Uh, that okay. the, You pummel this thing into okay. non-existence. It <laughs> collapses into a pile of goo. There's no way those dice weren't going to be enough. All okay. right, uh, your fists slam home, uh, and you hear multiple crunches as its demonic bones snap and break. It collapses to the ground in a pile of fetid ooze, uh, but you are now free from it. Okay, so these places where the wall has collapsed... Those are difficult to rain. Okay, um, but with 50-foot movement, I... Sh- Good. 10. 25. 20. I, can, I can make it. Can I make it to here? 25. 5, 10, 25. Is that also difficult? Uh, we'll say no. Okay, so 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, or 45, 50. That is as close as you can go to 50. Yeah. Okay. Just shy. All right. Uh, that was Dell. Ingrid. <sighs> Uh, Ingrid's rage subsides for a moment, and if she were being practical and well defended, she might not try to go all out on this round, thus leaving giant holes in her defenses. But um, she's not going to be practical and well defended. She's oh, gonna right. she's gonna keep attacking, even though she's tired, and she's gonna just keep tanking her AC. That's fine. That makes the most sense. You are the tankiest what of it, the characters. So what do you have to lose? Clearly, this is safe. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's a 28 hit with the first attack. 28 will hit. Let's see. 15, 21, 22, 21. That's enough. Oh, you know, oh, I, had, I got it then. I you had slide. more movement. Because I used one action for my flurry. And then oh. only one move action. Yeah, if you wanted to move yourself so into can, a better so position. So if I can move up to yeah, there, you can move I'd like into to that, that position. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sounds right. good. Okay, um, your axe slams home and that demon dissolves into a, a gory mist. Nice. Uh, that was your first action. This demon does not like the look of how this is all playing out. I will, Come to me so I that will, I might feast. I will I will double move up there, so I've now given myself a total cool. minus four conditional penalty to AC. I shall feast upon your souls in ways that none of my compatriots were able to because my dice will not suck. That's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, you have moved up there, and uh, sorry, what was that you said there? At the uh, end about, I, w- I uh, was saying I've t- I took all three actions on my turn, so my conditional penalty to AC and saving throws is now minus four. I see. Um, all right. Well, the demon goes. Uh, it uh, looks around uh, the battlefield, finds itself surrounded. Um, it's going to go ahead and throw that first horn attack at you because you came running at it with that glowing axe that hurts for it to even look at. So it's going to go ahead and throw the horns at you. Really? 23 I'm wondering is going to miss. I'm afraid that doesn't hit you. Yeah, it'll throw a claw at you then as well. Um, uh, The claw is going to be a 27. That will miss by one. This is not this demon's day. It should have stayed in bed. No, the third attack is also going to miss. All right, so uh, the demon uh, swings at you a fair number of times, but never really manages to connect. I love it when a gamble pays off. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm invincible! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone at home, remember that. All right, Kaelin. Uh, I, uh, yeah. I'm going to start by hitting it with a... Oh, you know what? 
It, it has shown it has an attack of opportunity. I hate taking away your flank, but I believe... I don't need the... I'm not doing sneak attack anyway, so... There's a option to move as a move without triggering, is there not? It's called step, step. yes. Yes, yes. So I took a step and it happens to go five feet in this case. All right, and then... <laughs> Just not a Funny that. Yeah, we just, it's almost as if we took what it was a long, clunky turn uh-huh. and just changed it to <laughs> you it? take a step. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to uh, <laughs> shoot it with a acid bolt. All right. I mean, no. Those are illegal now. <laughs> uh, it will be a... Sorry. 26 touch. 26 touch will hit. Okay. Not a crit, but it is a hit. And it takes... Dangers of playing with one of the game designers. It's like, let me just errata that right now. It no longer yeah. does Here's acid damage. Here's a preview damage. of uh, <laughs> errata 1.5. 12 <laughs> acid, 3 persistent. 12 acid, 3 persistent. This is actually the first damage this thing has taken. Yep. Um, and, of course, it's acid damage. Turn. So, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> stop being so excited. <laughs> Take the part where it says weakness to acid cross up. It's this. like when you're at one of those nice steak restaurants and they wheel the cart around with all the cuts of meat on it, and you're just like, I want to bite that and that and that and that. <laughs> just give them case, to me now. You yeah. don't need to cook them. Yeah, no, it's fine. All right, uh, so Sir, Please do not take three plates to the buffet. Kelwin, that was you. Jeski. All right. Uh... Jeski is going to move up into flanking Perfect. position. Yes. All right. Um, Jeski will then get a taste. A taste. Of a third <laughs> demon, hopefully. You don't want to eat it, I just want to taste it. Uh, so it is a 29. Hit. And flanking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they thought of themselves as terror troops. You think of them as a buffet. Yeah, no. It's I will not give it well the them. weak five. To slashing condition with my debilitating strike this time, set my oh. barbarian friend up. Oh, good. And I <laughs> should actually do I, the damage. I'm, I'm also doing slashing, by the way, because I have my tiger. Uh, I am. I'm really excited that you guys are doing stuff. this. <laughs> he suddenly, you almost see a look of regret on his face. Like I could have been a Baylor. We <laughs> <laughs> rolled very quickly that time. Though. So that is 26. 26 damage. Um, all right. And uh, uh, given that I have a taste for meat now, oh, I'm going oh, you've in just, for you've, another you've one. Just oh, got just a taste now? For yeah. Before you were like, meh, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> considering being a vegetarian, but these demons are so yummy. Uh, that is a 24 and then flanking. They're spicy buffalo. Yeah. Flavored. I mm-hmm. mean... Uh, 24 with flank is going to miss, actually. Okay. Sorry, and, yeah, and no, that's free. not going to hit. Gluten-free. Gluten All right. Dark, gluten-free. <laughs> they, are, they are decidedly gluten-free. They're organic as well. <laughs> <laughs> These are some free-range demons. You guys got some primo demon here. All right. Uh, Jeski, are you done biting? Yes. Biting my, my fiends. All right, Del. Okay. Um, Flurry. Flurry. All right, bring it. I realized that I rolled... D8s instead of D10s last night. When you killed it? What a shame. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you extra annihilated it. Yeah. yeah I, just like know, I just like to know dead. the big number. Oh, yeah. You have it more goo pain. between your fingers. Um, it's more gravy. That's right. So that's a 31 with a flank. Yep. And a 26 with flank. Uh, the 26 with... No. Oh, yeah, you do have flank. Yeah, that will hit. Okay, right. so I hit with both. Yep. So, back to the D10. Fifty-eight slashing. Is that right. one slashing attack or two slashing attack for extra damage? These attacks? are added together They're treated and as one treated attack, as one right? attack for the purposes of weaknesses and, uh, and okay. resistances. So, sorry, it was fifty-eight. You said. All right. Uh, Alright. Uh yeah, you're you're you you slam into it and cause these terrible wounds to open up on it, but it's still up and fighting. Okay. Um so that was my first action. Yeah. Second action will be to step here. Alright. And um <laughs> I will try and 
punch it again. 18 is not going to do it. Even 18 is going to miss. All right. Ingrid. Time to become angry again, and time to see how much he regrets his life choices. He um, has many regrets right now. Uh, mighty rage yeah. to demoralize. Could have been Is a Titan. bolstered against that, though, if uh, you already did I two have, months? I have bolstered against Terrifying Hal down here. Mm. Um, I don't know. You would remember better than I would, probably. It's uh, the uh, demoralize, intimidate action. Yeah, I think you only get to do that to him once in a fight. Okay. Then... Uh, but um, continue with your... All right, uh, well, I'm going to smack him regardless, so... Right. Uh, <laughs> may, it may not matter. Did Natural you just 20. crit him? Yep. Oh yeah, my god. god. <laughs> All right. With your slashing Well, let me look up this, <laughs> this pointless rule check here. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah right. Okay. Seven plus five holy. Yeah, I didn't need to look up the rolls. You just <laughs> chop him right in half. Yay! All right. I provided a flank. <laughs> yeah, 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 I provided a flank. You know, those guys had a, had a cool thing where they could uh, try and rip your weapons out of your hands if you failed an attack against you. Try but it. every time you guys failed an attack, everybody was attacking with natural <laughs> weapons, and you never missed. So didn't really work out too well for the poor, poor slaver they demons. Aww, poor they were slaver. they were the exact opposite of what uh, should be sent to go fight you. Um, but that's quite all right. Um, well, as if our characters have been doing this for a while. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, just to keep things moving, because uh, over our two streams, we're not going to have time to run every fight that is set uh, for this adventure. If uh, they're we all this easy, though, Jason, then <laughs> why yeah, wouldn't we? Yeah, about that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what we're going to do is uh, move forward. Uh, you guys have a... F uh, let's see... Yes, that's right. Okay. So I'm going to say that you guys have two rounds uh, to uh, prepare for the next wave as it comes in. Um, you can see uh, demons approaching from the city. There are forms that have been making their way here since the moment this fight began, and they are marching their way up the hill toward you. Um, there's a rather large group of them coming from the west. Um, Do so their I'm forms say, look the same as these? No, they look different. They're smaller and lighter. Um, and they're kind of flittering between shadows, trying to make their way up here under the cover of darkness. Um, but you can see them making their way forward. But before we get to that, I think it's about time for us to take a short break. So we will be back in just 10 minutes uh, so that everybody here can uh, grab some water and uh, get themselves ready for the second half of this stream. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you in uh, just a bit. Thanks. Thanks.